I have something to share with you today. Uh, it's, it's so clever. It's such a, a great piece of engineering that I, I'm, I just want to show it to you. It's, it's really clever. It's the Leatherman Wave. And if you're not familiar with the line of multi-tools, if this is the first time, uh, I, I think you'll be astounded. Uh, it can be worn on your belt, can be put into a bug out bag or thrown into your, uh, your purse or your glove box. It's, it's a really super handy tool. And let me share it with you. On either side of the Leatherman pouch are two little uh, holders. So on the one side, I have a half inch diameter by four inch piece of fire steel or ferro rod. And on the other side is another pocket that you could put a flashlight. But while we're speaking about that, uh, at another time, I'm going to show more about this uh, keychain flashlight. But if you have a keychain flashlight, a ferro rod, a multi tool, and a modern day cell phone, what you could be carrying on your yourself is just incredible. Uh, the, the, the potential is amazing. But let's get into the Leatherman Wave. First thing I want you to notice is that it's four inches in length, okay? It weighs 8.6 ounces. And this is used. Uh, let me tell you a little background story how I got this. I was over at my neighbor's uh, garage and we were talking and I, I noticed on his bench, he had this multi-tool and it was all rusted. I mean, you couldn't even open it up. It was, you know, just, Terrible shape. And I don't know if this is right or wrong, but I'll, I'll tell you how I overcame it. I said, uh, well, you're not using it and you know, it's, it's been abused. Could I have it? And he said, sure. So that's how I, I came to own it. And like I said, it, it really wasn't that useful. So I just, I didn't even know if I could ever get it working. So I used carburetor spray and uh, wet dry uh, sandpaper, 600 grit, and this just ate away at all that rust, okay? And then once I had the rust removed, I used liquid wrench chain and cable lube. And wow, it, it really loosened it up. On the outside of the Leatherman, there are four tools and they're easily accessible because of this cutout in the frame of the, the tool. You don't need nails or anything. You can just put your finger right into it and it snaps right out. And listen to this. You hear that? It has a locking spring piece of steel so that when you're using, say, the knife, it can't close down and cut you across your fingers. And that's on all four tools on the outside. Really nice and really easy to access. So we have a knife, and you'll notice on the knife, on the, on the spine of it, it doesn't have any bumps. If you look over here, there's a couple of uh, bumps over here or grooves. That's for the serrated knife. And that's used for rescuing uh, cutting jeans or say a uh, seat belt. And notice the tip is different. It can't catch your skin as you're going underneath to cut your clothing. Where on a knife has a very sharp point, okay? And again, locks in place with that spring steel. Very nice design. On the other side, we have a file and it has a very coarse side and a diamond file side. And on the bottom of it also has uh, some filing. And then on the uh, side of the serrated knife is a very sharp uh, saw. And let me show you how good a saw this actually is. I, I was surprised. Watch this. Can you see that? 
Look at that. Also, in the saw cavity where the saw is stored, if you take a flat tip screwdriver, you'll notice in the far corner there's a little lump of metal right here. If you push out on that, it releases a ring that is for a lanyard where you can put a rope. It's kind of handy, and if you don't need it, just tuck it back in. All right. Close her back up. Now, this is the ingenious part. I mean, as you open this up, look how smooth that is. Now you have a full-size pair of pliers. And the pliers are excellent. Look how narrow they are. The nose lines up. It's not offset. The tip pinch is closed. It has uh, grooves in it to make it easier to, to grip. And again, in the larger area of the mouth. It also has wire cutters right here. And closer to the, uh, the joint is a, a little bit of a hardened uh, cutter. I wouldn't cut anything more than a brad though with these really. These are kind of medium uh, utility, if you will. Let me show you how well it cuts. This is number 12 gauge house wire. It's the most common. It's what's ran for your uh, outlets and switches usually. Watch this, how well it, look at that. Cuts it very smoothly. All right. Okay, so now we have the pliers and on the inside are also tool storage. Let's see here. You'll notice here, this is the screwdriver. Again, just like the outside, if you listen, did you hear that click? They have this locking mechanism and it's really good. Look at how, how well that works. As you lift up on that, it reveals that groove that it locks into so it can't uh, move easily. And the tool is double-sided and it's four millimeters thick, I believe. And this is Philip in a flathead. And you can buy accessories for this <clears throat> that also store inside the case. Okay. So while you're, I'll, I'll show you these. It won't show up very well on camera because it's black on black, but I'll take these out in a minute and you'll, you'll see them better. There's, uh, Let's see, 20, 40, 42 tools additionally to what's already on this. 42 additional heads and an extension, which is really handy if this uh, body of this multi-tool gets in your way. You can put the extension in. All of this on your pocket or your belt. Look how handy that is. And if you need more leverage, just do this. Okay. Let's put that aside here. It also comes with a bottle opener. See that? And up close, closer to the body, is a wire stripper. Let me show you how well that works. Again, take your 12 gauge wire, put it on there and just turn it and then pull. Look how nice that stripped. Okay. Let me show you what we can do with that though. Take your pliers and put a slight bend in it like so. That might be a little bit too much. Pull out your screwdriver The silver side is for the neutral or the white wire. Put it underneath your lead screw.
all with tools that you have on your belt. Is that fantastic or what? Okay. Let's put that away. Now on the other side, I don't know if this is because, like I said, this tool was abused and um, it's not new. I don't know if they operate differently. But on this side, uh, these tools don't, I'm not, I don't use them that often, but also they don't come out that easy, which is nice because, you know, they don't flop open either. But using keys, these I can get out just by flipping up on them. Now look at this one. This is real handy for prying open like a paint can. And it also could be used for like a, a screwdriver, a flat tip. But I have, like I said, 42 other bits that one of them will, will work for the task that I'm using. Again, push down and you can put away the tool. This is fantastic. I got to tell you, I really like this tool. This is for uh, your eyeglasses. This is for those small screws. You got a Phillip and a flat tip for repairing glasses. And if you buy that uh, additional set of tools, it comes with an extra bit to replace it if you ever needed to right here. Isn't that handy? So you've got two of those on you at all times. All right, and the other tool, this is really nice too, is a pair of scissors. Boy, are these handy. Let me put the eyeglass one away and open up this. Can you see the spring steel right here? Let me show you how well this works. Can you imagine having a pair of scissors in your pocket at all times? Isn't that fantastic? Okay, and then to put it away again, push down on that. Pull the scissors back up and they tuck neatly in there. The last thing that I want to share with you is with the uh, pliers closed, this is exactly eight inches from tip to tip. And there's a, a ruler in inches on this side and centimeters on this side. And if you take your steel tape, which it's not going to show up on camera, but if you take your steel tape, It actually, the calibrations in their tape is exactly lining up with my steel tape. Very accurate. Very handy to have. My thoughts on it. Really great engineering. Someone put a lot of thought and effort into this. The cutouts work super, super easy with or without fingernails. The locking mechanism can't be beat. I, I really like the safety of the locking. The smoothness of it. When I first got this, it wouldn't open up any further than that. So if you find one of these or are given one of these and it's all rusted, don't worry about it. Go to pawn shops and try to find these too because these things are, are rather pricey and I've seen them in pawn shops now that I'm looking in the $40 range. Uh, and the more expensive ones are like, I think, $60, which is still a great price. Um, to have this much tooling in such a small package is just phenomenal. Again, combine that with an ability to start a fire. All of these screwdriver tips, extensions, uh, a flashlight, and a cell phone in that small an area incredible i'll catch you on the next one